Hey y'all. Okay, I posted some yeast rolls that I had made last night and I have had several requests. Make a video, make a video. So here I am, I'm making some more yeast rolls tonight. Um, first of all, I'm gonna go over all the ingredients that I used. Um, so you can go ahead and be gathering your ingredients. Now I use this kind of instant yeast. Um, I keep this in the freezer. And uh, this recipe calls for one tablespoon of yeast. Now one pack is not gonna equal one full tablespoon. So I have to open a pack and then I use a little bit of another pack and that's okay. I just put it back in the freezer. So that's that. I'm gonna use Himalayan salt, um, but you can use any kind of salt you want. Um, you'll need olive oil, you'll need one egg and some butter. We're gonna have, we're gonna use that later. Um, you're gonna need some sugar. You're gonna need one and a half tablespoons of sugar. And I use all purpose flour for this. Okay, so super quick and easy. Um, the first thing, now you don't have to use a mixer, but I'm gonna use a mixer, it makes it faster. But you can use, you can do this by hand, okay? So the first thing is one and a half cups of warm water. All right, and it's warm, it's not hot, it's just warm. All right, and it matters what it matters what order you put everything in the in the bowl. Okay. Next, I'm going to put in my yeast. Okay, one tablespoon of yeast, and then the sugar. Okay, I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of sugar. All right. Okay, I had to make sure I had my measurements correctly. Um, this is all-purpose flour. You could use bread flour, any kind of flour, but I'm using all-purpose flour for this, and I used it last night, and it worked out perfectly. So I'm gonna add most of the flour to this right now, and I'm gonna save some um, and add as I go, but most of it goes in right now. I say probably go ahead and add about three cups. It's four cups total. Um, go ahead and add about three cups, and we're gonna save some to make sure that it, it's um, a good, a good dry dough ball, okay? All right, now the flour is on top of the water and the yeast and the sugar, so it's gonna kinda make a layer. And so we're gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil to that. And we are gonna add one teaspoon of the salt on top of that, okay? And now I'm gonna set my mixer on two for a, for bread, should go, shouldn't go any faster than a two. Okay, see how this is forming a dough ball? It's cute, this is perfect. This is the way we want it, okay? So I don't think I'm gonna add any more flour to this, maybe a little bit. Let's add a little bit more flour. All right, now see how it's created this dough ball? We're gonna let this spin for five minutes. I'm fixing to set my timer for five minutes. Okay, we are three minutes in, and you see how my dough ball is separating? I am going to add a little bit more flour to this. I went ahead and added up to four cups. Okay, our five minutes is up. And this is what my dough ball looks like, okay? So, just going to, whew, I don't need two hands for this. Macy, you wanna come video? <laughs> Thank you, Macy's always got it. Okay, this is what it looks like. And this is perfect. This is this is exactly the way that we want it. Okay. Bachelor. All right. So we're gonna need, or we're gonna get this out on our clean surface, and it should just come right out. And it is. Look how pretty that is. Okay. Now I'm just gonna need this for a few minutes. All right. Make sure I get all my dough out. All right. 
Kevin, you want to stand here and watch me make the rest of my yeast rolls? No, ma'am. Okay, there's, I got it out. Okay, we're gonna need it just a minute. And there's no, you, there's no need to, um, there's no need to flour, flour the surface. You don't want to need it too much, but see, it just comes right up. This is the easiest yeast roll recipe ever. Okay. It's almost like Play-Doh, y'all. Okay. So now, I'm just going to take my olive oil and I'm just going to use my same my same pot here and I'm just going to make make a ball kind of like my biscuits doesn't matter what the bottom looks like as long as it's smooth on top okay kind of looks like that and I'm going to take and smear the bottom or the, the smooth top and then I'm gonna sit sit it just like that okay so I have an old my old smooth surface is on the top okay let me get these gloves off all right I have a warm flour sack cloth I have just wet it with warm water so it's warm and I'm going to cover this. And like I've said before, our house stays um, really cool. So I'm gonna go put this on top of my dryer and it, it needs to sit for 30 minutes. Okay, we have about seven minutes left on our 30 minute timer. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 degrees. And over here I have cracked my egg and whisked it up. And um, I'm just ready for six more minutes on the rise of the yeast rolls. Okay, it's been 30 minutes and our dough ball has doubled in size. Me and Macy had a little laugh after that last segment about um, the dough rising. So anyway, this we're gonna name this video the, the rise of the dough. Anyway, let's just dump this out. And our oven is ready at 350. We're just gonna punch the gas out of the, the dough and spread this out into a rectangle. Into a rectangle. You watched me do this before, didn't you? This is a fun. This is fun to make. And during that 30 minutes, let me get my sleeve up. During that 30 minutes, I cleaned up the kitchen and swapped over the clothes. And but I I could probably make these yeast rolls while I have something cooking. So, oh, my sleeve's falling now. Okay, now we got into a pretty large rectangle. Now we are just gonna roll it. The dogs are barking at the deer, I bet. Okay, look at that, how cute that is. Okay, now this is what this is for. We're going to take and cut this right in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then cut this in half. And then each one of these four pieces, we're going to cut into, we're going to cut twice, making it three. Okay. Now we have our 12 pieces here and this is going to be the same kind of like I did my biscuits. We're going to make each one smooth on top okay this is going to be a b roll okay and then we're just going to set it on the parchment paper now i it, it almost looks like a cinnamon roll you know as you we've rolled it up so what i do is i just take and roll the edges around and make it make it like that and i just kind of squeeze it at the bottom and make it like that as long as it's smooth on top all right let me do one more and show you kind of make it like that and just swirl it around making it smooth all right let me get the rest of these done and I'll be right back
Okay, there we go. Look how pretty they are. Okay, now I bet y'all wonder, what is she doing with those scissors? Okay, watch this, watch how cool this is. We're just gonna make little X's or crosses in each one. Because why? Because it makes it look cute on top. It makes it look, you know, fancy. And it'll help with the crusty top. Here, let me get that one again. Didn't you like them the other night when they had the little crunch on the top and how smooth they were? You don't have to be perfect. You just make a little X. Sometimes I go back over. Okay, now the last step before we bake is we're going to give each one a, a little egg wash. Okay? And that's what makes the tops, that's what's going to make the tops uh, crunchy and shiny looking um, and smooth looking. I don't know if that matters, but all right. We're going to go into the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes, but you have to keep your eye on them, okay? I'll bake them in, in the mill rack. Okay. Wow. Look at that, y'all. Okay, here they are. Look how pretty. Okay, now the last part is I'm taking my other brush and I'm just gonna smother these with butter. Yum. Look how yummy. All right, and look right here. Look right there. My first test taster of this batch. And she's got the, ooh, she got the, um, the cinnamon honey butter out of the refrigerator. And I was going to mention that after you butter these, you can, um, you know, you can add garlic powder, you can add salt. It doesn't have to be just, you know, plain. You can season them however you, you want. What do you think, Macy? That looks good. All right. That's a wrap, you guys. Okay, I just want to recognize our silent star of the show. Uh, Miss Katarina was trying her best to get in our video the whole time we were creating it, and now she wants to run. Miss Katarina? <laughs> Such a sweetheart. She's going to get in the video. I want to be in the middle of like rolling out the dough, and she's going to be like, <laughs> the back.